Hitler's atom bomb. It is not widely known that before the war the Germans were the leaders in the development of the atomic bomb. But in 1942, for some reasons, they abandoned the work, although they knew that the nuclear weapon would guarantee them victory. There are many misleading and false information published on this topic, so it is necessary to put the record straight. I base my story on information which was not so long ago made available to the public by the English and the Russians, and I will try to find the real truth behind the Germans' decision. In 1938, three German scientists, who later received a Nobel Prize, discovered the process of uranium fission critical for building the atom bomb. In 1939, more than two years before the Manhattan Project in the USA, Germany started work on the development of nuclear weapons. The key person in the research on atomic energy in Germany was Warner Heisenberg, a famous physicist and Nobel Prize winner in 1932 at the age of 31, creator of quantum mechanics and discoverer of the uncertainty principle, which is one of the fundamental laws of nuclear physics. In February 1942, Heisenberg delivered a lecture to Nazi high officials on the future of atomic energy. He talked about its civil application and nearly did not mention the atom bomb. However, he told Albert Speer, the Minister of Armaments, that the bomb would not be ready before 1945. As a result of his decision, in summer 1942, Germans stopped working on building the atom bomb. After the war, Heisenberg, along with nine of the most important German scientists in the field of atomic research, was interned by Allied forces at Farm Hall near Cambridge, England, where their conversations were recorded. Heisenberg, suspecting hidden microphones, presented himself as an opponent of the construction of the atom bomb, who sabotage work on its development on purpose. Heisenberg's explanation that the delayed construction of the atom bomb on purpose is not confirmed but his activities during the war and by available documents. From the transcription of the recorded conversation at Farm Hall, released by the British government in 1992, it appears that when the German scientists learned about the dropping of the American atom bomb on Hiroshima, they could not believe it. They were deeply convinced that they had overtaken America in the research on atomic energy and that it was impossible to build the atom bomb. Heisenberg, on the blackboard, photographed by the staff, started calculating the critical mass of the uranium fission reaction and obtained an incorrectly large amount of this element. But after a couple of days, he had rectified the calculation and provided very good results. Documents from Farm Hall suggest that Heisenberg, also in 1941, as in 1945, incorrectly calculated the critical mass needed for the operation of the bomb. His results shown that several tons of uranium were needed, while in fact the critical mass is about 52 kilograms. Such a large quantity required a huge amount of raw material from which the concentrated uranium-235 was extracted. Such a large amount of material was practically impossible to obtain in a short time, therefore the project was abandoned. It is not true that Heisenberg did not try to build a bomb. In the spring of 1941, he traveled with his colleague to Copenhagen to meet with Niels Bohr, a famous Danish physicist, to find out how advanced atomic research in the United States was. 
The Ball report published from the meeting confirms that the German scientist said that his work on the atom bomb could decide the outcome of the war. The report, written by his colleague from the visit to Copenhagen and disclosed recently by the Russians, indicates that at the time of the Copenhagen meeting, Heisenberg was very enthusiastic about the creation of the bomb. So we have arrived at the most important question. How was it possible that Heisenberg committed such an error? In his calculations, he did not consider a certain scientific phenomenon which was well known to every specialist in this field. Having learned in Farm Hall about the Hiroshima bomb, he realized that the critical mass must be smaller and it took him only two days to find the right solution to the problem, calculating the correct amount of uranium. Any suggestion that he did not understand the nature of the process is not a responsible argument. Scientists of Heisenberg caliber do not make such a trivial mistakes on which depends the fate of mankind. I believe that Heisenberg's mistake was a result of the intervention by extraterrestrial beings. Nazi Germany was a real threat to the human development, to the development of consciousness. If the German would win the war, they would dominate the world and it would mean the end of the Western civilization. The extraterrestrial beings could not allow this to happen. I believe that in the case of Heisenberg, the intervention consisted of blocking in his mind certain knowledge or passing to him certain false data in such a way that it affected his calculations. Heisenberg, having such prominent status, did not share with anybody the method of how he calculated the results and only presented the final conclusion to the government officials. Considering his scientific authority and high position, nobody dared to question his decision. It is not necessary to have a great imagination in order to realize that the destiny of hundreds of millions of people in Europe and even in the entire world depended on the accuracy of his calculation. If Germany had had nuclear weapons at its disposal, in 1943, or even in 1944, the outcome of the war would have been totally different. It is difficult to imagine that the fate of the world depended on a mistake by one man, but nevertheless, thus it was.